It's the initial post of the 11. 11, you're going to be fired up. 13, you're going to be friggin' pissed. And I get it. This 11 is going to change dramatically over the next couple days. And this is really, really, really important to understand. It's not even close to over. We hear it, we say it, we believe it. But can we see it? The it factor. When the game's online, you can see it in a person's eyes. It's noticeable. The it factor. They make the players around them better. The it factor. Welcome to the it factory. This was one of the most epic years of returners, guys that just still want to be a part of this. I think as they get away from the game, uh, they realize how special and how fun and unique this was. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. How you doing? How's the league treating you? Good. Good? Yeah, Great. I'm it. Proud of you. Thank you. Goff was here four years ago. Like, he's not... 37 years, like, he was here four years ago. Your age, same opportunity, didn't win it, was not MVP. I don't think he was top three or four, right? And, like, he just went number one in the Rams. So when you think about an, like, opportunity in terms of where you guys are at, it's pretty crazy. This guy looks like Jared Goff. He does. Hey, Brennan, anybody ever told you you kind of look like Goff a little bit? Looking at you from distance? Yes, sir. I think that looks just like Jared. You know, perfect preparation equals execution, right? So we brought in one of the great coaches in the Pac-12 for a long time, Jeff Tedford, to teach them everything he possibly could about defense and then ultimately testimony. Who are you typically studying for tendency? My corner is uptight. If his stance is like this, he's going to bail, OK? His eyes are locked on the receiver. What coverage is it? Man, so you can tell by the corner's alignment. You got to learn a lot of defense, but you better own your offense. You better learn how to learn. Confidence is not hereditary. It's not God-given. Confidence is like a muscle. There's going to be a lot of information. You guys are getting a snapshot at this offense this weekend. We'll pick up on pure progression. First play we're going to install, gun, double right, formation, protection, Pat. Sean Clifford attacked the playbook preparation with vigor. He's an X's and O junk. He's a gym rat, whatever term you want to use. How this works for me is I took this playbook, uh, went and got it all copied out, and then from here I got the whiteboard and I'm breaking everything down. So I think that that's my it factor, I guess you'd say, to be able to chunk a lot of information into little time. I think that I've, I, I've developed that skill. So you have motion to empty diz. So diz meaning we have two tight Y and Z, and then we have F, X here. Penn State's getting a really good one in Sean Clifford and a kid that's going to dive into the process of being a quarterback as much as anybody. Our ability to process information, our ability to add more information, what confident we get. For a quarterback who's trying to develop, the pressure has not changed. The opportunity has not changed. The amount of noise, stuff going on, things filling up my head and, and right in front of my face and happening to me, it's gone through the roof. Body language, it matters. It makes a difference when you're out there. There's so much exposure on this position. They have to be equipped to deal with the media. How do I handle it all? Their world has changed. They can't be a normal high school student anymore. Anytime you can give an answer to what's happening behind the scenes, they're going to want to continue to talk with you, and that's going to help your brand. They're the people we're going to be watching on Saturdays the ability for them to communicate not only on the field, but off the field, that's just invaluable. People who are watching you guys on TV, they're not necessarily listening to the question, they're listening to the answers. And I can't stress that point enough. You guys are the subject. Scouts, coaches, now even fans, we able to dive into you at levels you cannot even imagine. And every single thing counts, the way you walk, the way you talk, and nowadays, the way you tweet, the way you post on Facebook. The way you share on Instagram. Yogi comes up and just starts about talking about social media and, okay, where is this going? You know, we're looking at each other. What's going to happen? So our staff, we went to work. 
We know not only the tweet you did last night, last week, last year, the year before, the one you deleted. We know all of them, man. Yeah. <laughs> what did I post two years ago? I don't know, I don't know. And I was really worried. I mean, you could tell some people were confident that when they got that piece of paper back, they were gonna be fine. I was one of those people because my mom like monitors my Twitter, so. They gave us a sheet of paper with our Twitter, Instagram, profile picture, and just what we've tweeted over the past years that we've had social media and what we could work on. You have an opportunity to impact some of these kids at their most influential times. Instagram or Twitter. I guess you could say, I mean, I have a, I'm a pretty popular guy. Tate Martell is the most exposed athlete in this group, and he has been since he got a scholarship offer in eighth grade. He has dominated the high school landscape. Three high school national championships, almost 50 straight wins. He also has, I think, a target. I mean, I have kids that DM me, message me probably four or five times a day. Tate's like an a little cocky son of a He's always saying this and that. I was always responding to it, and it was kind of an issue. Everybody had for so long told him it was about him that he didn't know any different. Um, but to Tate's credit, yep. the Tate Martell I saw interact with his fellow competitors and coaches, that's a very different kid than what he put out there on social media a few months ago. I never really saw it until my parents, like, literally sat me down for one night. They're like, you got to chill out. Like, everybody knows how good you are. You don't need to, like, protect yourself. Now I just, you know, I blow it off. I mean, I had to. I have to grow up. I'm going to college soon. I'm super proud of Tate Martell because I think his eyes have been opened to something bigger than what he's lived. And I think he'll be even a wiser kid now leaving Elite 11. Once they figure out that there's an incredible freedom from letting go of what other people think of them, these kids are gonna go to an entirely different place. Sport is a wonderful opportunity to figure this stuff out, but it is not the end in and of itself. It is part of the journey of you becoming you so that you can help others become themselves. I think I've grown up a lot and I've, now I see like how you're supposed to handle situations. I mean, it's been a great experience for me. What you have been given is extraordinary. We want to honor that. So write this down. For those that much is given, much is expected. If you to define what a real man was, how would you do it? We have a special guest speaker that understands what it truly means to be a real man. Please welcome Alexis Jones to the Elite Line. The components that we've added to this event with Alexis Jones, and we're doing our best, obviously, to provide them with resources uh, to be the best kids they can be. I'm going to start with a story that has to do with the power of the jersey. There was a girl and her mom, and they pulled up at a stoplight here in Los Angeles. Four big dudes are leaning outside a Jeep, and they're making all these, like, vulgar, disgusting gestures and yelling at, at this chick's mom. At a certain point, she thought they were actually getting out of the Jeep. The girl in the car leans over and pulls out her phone and goes to take pictures, because that's the only power that she has in that moment, right? And so as she drives off, her mom starts crying hysterically, pulls over on the side of the street. Like, imagine your mom's for a second, like your mom. I don't know who these guys are, but like, I hope we find them because these guys just made my mom cry. Nine minutes after posting, someone said, oh my God, three of the starting players for the Lakers. I'm just gonna randomly pass these out. I don't want you to turn these over yet. So the crazy part of the story is that chick was me. They go from the kind of, I'm too cool for school to the, oh my gosh. So those of you who have a piece of paper, we flip it over? Because this was the response that I got online. They're numbered, so number one. Put a gun to her head and kill <laughs> then her dead body just to remind her of her place. Hashtag real man. Someone shove a <laughs> in his <laughs> mouth to shut her up. We will find you. <clears throat> Alexis kind of left everybody's jaws on the ground. A real man needs to put you in your place and <laughs> you until you can't walk. <clears throat> can't wait until you have a daughter so I can rape them too. <clears throat> can't wait until you have a daughter so I can rape them, too. 
You see them wrestling with it. Like you see them confronting the own monsters that exist inside their head. There's some magic that happens in those moments. We were right you and your mom to give you something to talk about. I think for me coming in and expanding and broadening the it factor that it also has to do with grace and with humility and all of these other things to get them thinking of the impact that they could have, which isn't just how well they play ball, but is actually the caliber of man that they choose to be. Having a sister and a mom and an aunt and my grandparents, I mean, it, it just hit me so much more because I have such a good relationship with them. I almost cried right in front of everybody. I was sitting there like holding it back the whole time. It really hit me, like, to be honest. I, like, I wanted to go give her a hug after that. You stupid whore, I hope you die. Hashtag Lakers for life. That's the power of the jersey. You have the ability to ignite a mob.